Chair to the Mayor, I'm not sure in meeting with the current vendor on the cleanup because I think that, and, and I guess we'll get into that because I do have a motion on that, but I know that they have documentation supporting their claim under, I think it's an environmental law 201, but I think we need our, and, and I guess I'll get into that, we need our legal representation to check into that, not relying on theirs. But I'll get into that in a further motion. Any further discussion? Restate as a motion to direct the administration uh, to draft an RFQ related to the City of Taylor towing contract no later than August 10th, 2024. All those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed say no. Yes, it's have a motion carried. Is there any further open business? Chairman. Okay. I have another motion to direct Corporation Council and the Director of Finance to perform an audit of records on the current towing contractor to ensure contract compliance. This includes but is not limited to tow rates charge, the Taylor Resident Rate Program, police auction fees and process, hours of operation, all forms signed by individuals related to tows and impounds, payment method allowed, subcontract and or assignment approval from the city, and other services built such as roadway cleaning. Support. Motion by Councilwoman Whitman, supported by Councilwoman Brandier. Is there any discussion? Chairman. Councilwoman. Um, just to give a little further explanation, when I was looking back in the contract that we have that I've confirmed with the clerk's office is the most recent contract on file. There's specific rates in there. So looking at, I have a couple invoices um, that in my opinion, do not match up with the contracted rates. Um, the Appendix A of that contract does say maximum towing rate. So I'm not sure where other fees such as, um, let's see, a lot fee owner IP, I'm not sure what that is, of $216. And then there's a DOT class one and two tow out, $400, a dolly flatbed charge of 45, recovery within the roadway right away of 150, and then another basic tow rate of 225, which is 1.5 hours at 150 per hour. I don't see an hourly rate in the Appendix A. Um, so again, this is just one example. Um, there was supposed to be a Taylor resident rate program, just ensuring that that's in place and being charged. Um, hours of operation, the contract states are supposed to be open on Saturdays. Um, I have confirmation that that, at least when a few individuals have checked is not happening. And ensuring that they take credit cards, because a lot of people don't have $1,300 or $1,800 of cash, but they may have access to credit. So we need to ensure that I believe is in the documentation of the contract that that was supposed to be allowed. Um, to my understanding, so I want to make sure that they're doing that. And then regarding the roadway cleaning, I think the current vendor's attorney was here at the last meeting and said, because I asked about assignment, he said it's not assignment, it's subcontracting, but subcontracting is still subject to the city approval. So i um, checking to see if and when that did happen. Any further discussion? To the chair, I mean, just, uh, just so this council is aware, to the extent there's going to be any time frame placed on this, I'm having surgery later this week and will be on medical leave for about 30 days. And I'm incapacitated, I'll be during that time, hopefully only for a couple of weeks, but I uh, just want to make council aware of that, that I will be laid up for a while. So we, we hope the best for you, and as the motion stands, there is not uh, a, a time timetable. questions to, to Jason and, and the reason that I added Jason in there is the contract specifically um, indicates that the director of finance can um, honor those records. Mr. Preserve. If you don't mind if you could um, send those motions to us and to, to Mr. Kocher yes. and I and you know and at that since we can start looking at records and taking action but if you could send us the exact wording I'd appreciate it. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. 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 All those opposed say no. Yes, it's had a motion carried. I don't, uh, sorry, any further open business? Chairman, I just have one more. Uh, motion to direct 
Corporation Council to investigate the road cleaning and restoration service charges that have been billed to individuals, either direct or to their insurance company, to